Kim Carballon, I'm the founder and director of Realm. But I saw that there were singers who wanted more experience. So the singers wanted more experience and the schools needed more support. So it seemed like a natural fit. We just started by taking arias to schools and, and singing for kids. Okay. Right, and now this year is Rock's uh, busiest year. We've had in Bloomington alone by the end of the school year, we'll have had 33 performances for almost 6,000 students. So quite a quite a big uh, improvement, big expansion from just the four performances in one year, um, seven years ago. Some performances are just for one or two classes, so we'll have 30 or 60 uh, kids watching. Um, some performances will be for the, the, the whole school will, will meet, so it'll be 500 people. To me, rock is um, an opportunity for people to be exposed to opera and to this style of music. A lot of people, I think, think that opera is something that you know people who dress up in their gowns and tuxedos and they go to these expensive, get you know these expensive productions, and that's for the elite. And I'm hoping that they learn that actually opera is as fun as anything else that they enjoy, and it's it's for everyone. And even these little kids that are six or seven somehow have this perception that opera is an elite kind of uh, experience that only educated or wealthy people should experience. And um, I'm fully convinced that it is that it's not that. It shouldn't be that. It, it is for everyone. A lot of times if you see, you know, somebody's putting on an opera, people won't necessarily go because there's kind of this high stigma attached to opera. And so to take it to them and to present it to them is um, a, a good way to get them involved in what we're doing and interested in what we're doing. So there's a curriculum guide that was developed um, that gets sent to all the teachers and it has some games and other ways of finding out information about operas and this one in particular. So the kids already know a little bit about opera and what they're about to see. I think they'll take it in at a higher level. This program is um, so important for so many different reasons. Uh, for me, it's, it's a personal thing as well as uh, you know, a bigger idea about music and supporting uh, music in general. And I think there's a level that all of us want to bring that kind of experience to kids in the community. If we could just inspire one kid every time we do a performance, just to think, wow, maybe I could do this, you know, for the rest of my life, that would be like the ultimate, yeah. the ultimate goal for me, I think. The thing is that there are, there's, there are effects that happen today, and there are effects that happen over the course of the school year, and effects that hopefully add on to the other experiences they have that they have with the course of their lives. So it's really cool to, to do this kind of outreach. The feedback we, we collect from all the teachers and the uh, school administrators has, has been overwhelmingly positive. It's, it's special that this many people can come together and decide to donate their time to something that's this important, that they feel that it's this important in the community. I really think it's important to bring opera to little kids, for them to get in touch with this beautiful art. For me, it was yes from the very beginning. To see the light on the children's faces when you look at them and you sing this you know, beautiful music that's fun and inspiring and exciting, it shows me that if, if they have more contact with that, if they can see something and be really inspired by it, then that is a trajectory for the future for what we do. You know, being able to see that is a really beautiful thing.